Now that's a sight. The mayor's son with his sleeves rolled up repairing an ice box. Well, if it isn't the little princess of Zebulun. Princess, what's the matter with repairing an ice box? Jimmy Ray, an ice box has no moving parts. My granny could repair an ice box. There's ice and a box. I think you're just showing off your muscles. You're talking, Alice Murphy. I'm curious how your mind works. Okay. You remind me of Adonis. You know who Adonis is? I sure do. He's a Greek god. Well, you remind me of him. In fact, you remind me of the myth of Adonis when he repaired the ice box. <laughs> you ever think you might be too smart for this town? All the time. Oh, what makes you so sure? I entered an essay contest in Raleigh. First prize was five dollars and I won it. Well, what was it about? I wrote about why there should be a rebirth of Southern writers, all writing about the Southern way. And that's how we can make our voices known. I don't know how a group of judges from Raleigh could have turned that down. They couldn't. I took that five dollars and put it toward my college fund. How much do you have in your college fund? Five dollars. You want a biscuit? I wouldn't mind having a biscuit. Your hands are dirty. You don't want to eat a dirty biscuit. You better feed it to me then. No. You and I were thinking the exact same thought. <laughs> you got a little wild cat about you, Alice Murphy. Hey! What's that book? F. Scott Fitzgerald. He's a new writer. I know who he is. The beautiful and damned. Is that us, Jimmy Ray? Damned if I know, but you're sure beautiful. Now I finished it. You can keep it. If my daddy sees the title, he'll kill me. Read it under the covers. So who you gonna take to the couple stay dance? I don't know yet. Well, I'm standing right here in front of you. Money proper, you asking me? I read in a book that sometimes you have to plant an idea in a boy's head. <laughs> that might be a pretty smart book.
Judy Ray, who was supposed to be here a while ago. Thank you, ladies. Sorry, Daddy, I was out fixing Ann Adele's icebox. Can you, believe, can you believe my son? I'm trying to turn over an empire to this boy and he's out fixing an icebox. What's that? Application for college. I've been thinking about it. Four years away from home and everything you need to learn, I'm teaching you here within these walls. Your grandfather taught me and I teach you. That chain must not be broken. Well, Daddy, I understand, but I thought we discussed this. Stan. Do I sense a disinclination? Oh, none of my business, man. There's a whole world outside Zebulun. I want to get to know it. Who are you getting this from? Where's that book you've been reading? I gave it away. Good. Let the jazz age infect someone else? Uh, man, the, the Conklins. The Conklins? In Charlotte, what about them? They have a beautiful daughter. Ola. Well, uh, <laughs> a dot of resources, that is. Sanford, what exactly is your business? The Conklins are a family with produce trucks that drive across this state, and we are the second biggest purveyors of produce for 300 miles. You want me to marry someone for her trucks? <laughs> that is an equation they do not teach in college. Well, where's the romance in that? Romance? I have no comment. No comment. What do you think that was? Just to have lunch with. I couldn't do that. I knew their daughter. She's a dumbbell. Doesn't have to be her. The Wilsons in Winston-Salem will have a daughter and a very active horse farm. I've met her. She is indistinguishable from the horses. <laughs> How about Naomi Weiss, the daughter of tobacco? And she plays a banjo. <laughs> All right, I know. I couldn't carry on a conversation with any of them. You don't have to carry on a conversation. You ever seen me carry on a conversation with your mother? It's not necessary. And that is a tragedy. Son, the way it works is the business is handed down and we marry it conveniently in order to live well. Don't break the chain, right, Daddy? Anyone see you slip away? Not a person. Anyone see you? I don't care who sees me with you. You don't care who sees you with anybody. I heard you had tea at the Magnolia House with Ola Conklin. Daddy made me. Thinks it's good business. He made you dance with her, too? <laughs> Daddy thinks we're still living in the Old South. Well, aren't we? This is Hicksville, Jimmy Ray. We're the Hicks in the Bill if we don't get out. So what was she like? Who? Oh, come on. Well, she sneaks rum in her team. Well, that's something to her credit. But why are you favoring her? You should be jealous. Not me. I've got to believe in myself, Nona. You playing me like a bit of Alice Murphy. Not playing. Alice! Alice! Where is that girl? Well, I think she went down by the river. She sure is down by the river a lot. She Yes. Yeah.
could never 